more scissors, more fun. It's December guys, so I'm trying to do a video a day. Yesterday we did an unboxing and I think a few days before that we did another one. So if you wanna check them out, I will link above my unboxing playlist. Today, I have thousands upon thousands of organisms sitting in these boxes that I have bought from Bugs for Bugs. You can find these guys in Australia if you have any kind of plant pest issues. And they have a really nice website which just sort of has all the main pests and you just click on them and they can give you options of the different organisms you can purchase in order to release into your collection, release the hounds, and hopefully deal with any pest problems or infestations. Now, I recently had an issue with spider mites and I have taken a bunch of those plants and treated them in the bathroom. And I might actually show you on the screen now what the situation looks like in the bathroom. But I treated those for spider mites with, I believe it is, I'll just get the product. <laughs> Yates Rose Gun. So this is just an insecticide and yeah, there's a heap of it here. So it's good, you can kind of just, you know, hold this around and deal with any, any large plants relatively easily. So yeah, I have here Californicus predatory mites and there are 10,000 of these guys in this little tube. They have a little air thing here where they can breathe. And I tried, this is a new species for me. The other one is Persimilis, I think. I'll have to open this up and check. Interestingly, this one's been packed into a polystyrene box, which makes me think, oh, I wonder if these guys are temperature sensitive compared to say the um, Californicus. But yeah, I was, I was surprised that I had two parcels as opposed to one from these guys. And so, yeah, this is a cold pack. So these guys obviously need to be kept cold. And so I have, yes, Persimilis here. I don't know if you can read that up the top here. Persimilis, 2,000 of these mites. So I have 12,000 mites to release into the collection to hopefully deal with these spider mites. Because yeah, they, I found them on a bunch of plants in my office and I'll probably take you in there shortly and we will do the spooning out of these mites, but I haven't found them, I don't think I've actually found them inside the collection here, at least not recently, but when they're in one part, they're probably almost certainly in the other part, so you might as well just give the treatment to everything. So, I don't know what the go is. I thought I would try these two different ones. One, because you get 2,000 of these, and the other one for about the same price, you get 10,000. I also thought, I wonder if I can mix these together. Are they gonna kill each other? That's a good question. Are these two different species gonna eat each other? Maybe I save the 10,000 one, the Californicus, for the room here, and I will release Persimilis here into the office. So I'm gonna get a spoon, and I reckon we get started because this is gonna take a while. All right, so first things first, I'm going to take the tape off the top here, and then I'm gonna try and take these guys out, and I wonder if I can show you them. I, wonder, I think they'll be on the lid, they usually are. What are these guys gonna look like? Oh man, they're everywhere moving around here. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see, but there are loads of them running around like crazy on top here. So what I'm gonna do with this first, and hopefully I can angle the camera so that you can kind of see what I'm up to, is usually I take the top and I just dunk it, or dunk it. I'm just gonna put it on top of one of the leaves here. There's a large um, Thai constellation sitting here and I'm just putting it on top of the leaf and hopefully those mites will just work their way off. Now all I have to do after this, it's come in what looks like sawdust and I'm just gonna literally take a little spoon out and sprinkle it, not, maybe not in every single pot or plant, but over the leaves and let it sort of fall down through the leaves. And you can kind of start at the top and work your way down. And yeah, hopefully this will help deal with some of the issues. So I'm just gonna probably get going and not really talk too much. And I'm working over here on my alocasias in particular because I did actually find a bunch of, whoop, there you go, falling through the gaps, spider mites on some of these alocasias recently. Although I did give them the full treatment, I had forgotten. I was like, which plants was it out of these ones that had them? It was the alocasias, as I'm sure many of you guys will be like, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> they seem to just attract it like crazy. 
Okay. All right. So it is going to make a bit of a mess doing it this way. But for the last few times, I have kind of sprinkled the sawdust into the soil, hoping that the, um, well, not sawdust, whatever the substrate was that they came in last time, the persimilis. And I was hoping that they would make their way up onto the leaves and they probably did to some degree, but I wonder how many of them I actually ended up sort of, you know, killing because they never made it up into the foliage. So yeah, it's a pretty slow going process as I think you guys can imagine. And it's going to look funny for, you know, a few days or, or even weeks because I'm gonna have sawdust all over the leaves <laughs> for a bunch of these plants. Uh, but hopefully it means no more spider mites for now, or at least a, an infestation that is under control. I have to move all the plants out of here and vacuum. thinking what else have I forgotten um, I focus a bit more up here in this area it's annoying I'm not really sure what to do with plants that are in lecker or semi hydro when you've got this kind of sawdust for example it feels a bit weird if you allow it to kind of just fall into the substrate the lecker or the perlite or whatever you've got pond so you guys will have to let me know what you do in terms of treating pests with um, mites like this if you have mainly semi-hydro or only semi-hydro. Now with some of these I am just kind of putting it into the pot hoping that they will sort of climb their way up the base of the plant because yeah otherwise I'm just going to end up with most of it on the floor I think as it seems to just sort of fall through the gaps, especially on plants that are fenestrated. <laughs> a lot of these monsteras, it's just all kind of gone. <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to go. Um, yeah, see, here's one in Lekka. It's just kind of gone down through the gaps. But I guess we'll give it a whirl and see how we go. Now, I still have quite a bit left. So I might try and sneak in, and get some of these plants in the trickier spots. And I'm kind of just hoping um, get dealt with on their own. Hopefully if the mites just kind of end up crawling around everything in the collection. I guess we'll see. Get around the back here. Especially problem plants too. So things like alocasias I have given extra attention to to make sure that they have definitely gotten their fair share of the mites as they're probably going to be the problematic children. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to move everything out of here eventually and give it a good vacuum. <laughs> I think I might just double up over these alocasias and put a bunch at the base of these plants as well. Sorry if you can't see me if I'm currently off camera. But it's pretty, pretty sort of self-explanatory. I'm just spooning out this teaspoon of sawdust and laying it onto the soil. That's about all there is to it. Okay. So getting down to the bottom, almost done. Definitely does kind of make a mess and look a bit horrendous, but hopefully it is function over appearance and it gets the job done. And we get rid of these nasty spider mites. You are not welcome here. I wonder if I'll hear their screams in my sleep. <laughs> as they get savaged by these Californicus. Take them out, guys. All right, I think I'm gonna finish up there and just dump the rest. I might leave the um, plastic container, or cardboard container. I've just left it there sort of resting up against one of my plants. And I'm gonna have a look at my hand. <laughs> and I do see quite a few just running around. So I'm gonna give them the very scientific <laughs> and wish them on their way. Okay, so now I guess we move on to the persimilis and we will do this. I'll start in the bathroom with the plants that I've treated in here. 
as you can see them in the shower here, I have kept them isolated from everything else. So per similis for those of you who don't know, uh, oh, we're gonna get the tape off. So these guys are kind of reddish in color and I think they're a little larger than the Californicas that we just saw. So I'm not sure if you'll have a better time seeing these or not, especially in here with low light. There we go, thousands of them. Absolutely thousands of them. So I may only just need to use this. I'm just gonna wipe it, wipe it, wipe it on some of these leaves and hope that the spider mites, uh, spider mites, that these predatory mites make their way off this. And I might leave the last one on my silver sword here. That tab, that bit at the top. Um, I will take a bit of this and put it down the bottom because yeah, all of these plants in here definitely did have spider mites. Um, let's sort of pour you along the side of the moss pole <laughs> and squeeze you down here. All right, so before these guys crawl away on my hand, I guess we will go down to my office and finish the job. Sorry, it's a bit dark here, guys. You will see shortly what's going on in here. Let me stick you on the table here. Turn the light on. And um, yeah, get to it, I guess. Hopefully you can sort of see what's going on. But it's gonna be the same deal. I'm just, this is vermiculite this time. So I'm not sure if you could see, but in there is vermiculite instead. Oh my God, look at these guys. Thousands upon thousands of them. I'll see if I can show you with the light. See all these guys crawling around the top? Is it blown out massively? There you go, see them all? Look at them guys, blown out. Maybe if I put this in front of the light, there you go. Look at them all go, Woo! Get in there, tiger. Get in there. All right, I'm gonna take a leaf here, sort of wipe some of those. Oh man, I can see them running around. Get on there, mate. You too on the Clarinervium over here. No, Crystallinum, Jesus. I forgot damn name of that plant. Um, same thing with the Monstera. I'm just gonna wipe the edge here on the leaves. Get a few of you guys off. I can see them running around. There we go. All right, some of the Gigas here. Boom, off you go, guys. Hunt them down, get them, get them, get them. Okay, same thing with this Stanleyana Monstera. Get onto these leaves, get going. I'll do the same thing here. So this is a Melanocrisis. <laughs> All right, so same deal. I'm just gonna start pouring some of this vermiculite into the bottom below leaves and also probably just, yeah, I might not make as much of a mess in here. <laughs> Sorry if I disappear off camera. I promise you I'm not doing any sort of secret technique. I am just spooning this stuff all over the place. I might make a, a bit of a mess in some of these propagation bins that I've got. All right, pour some on here. And wipe some on there too. Off you go. Get onto these leaves. Oh man, you can just see them running off into the distance. You can almost hear them howling, guys. It's almost like, oh! And the spider mites are like, ee, 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 ee. <laughs> We're just vegetarians! We're just vegetarians! <laughs> Please don't slaughter us! <laughs> Sorry, guys. The plants are my friends. The plants are my friends. Oh man, I'm a weirdo. Imagine the neighbor, <laughs> the neighbor's hearing me. What the fuck is this guy on about? Marge, he's gotten into the weed again, into the space plants, and he's, he's off in another realm. All right, sorry that you're kind of enjoying my back. Let's see if I can give you a different angle. I'm just gonna sort of work my way around. I think I've done most of the plants here with either wiping or just taking a spoonful of the good stuff and giving them the treatment. Okay, yes. You get some, you get some. So those plants that you saw in the shower were actually out of this room and they were on this shelf here and I kind of spread things out. I'm sure that spider mites have made their way onto everything else in here. But yeah, that was the, the issue if you will. So that is why I'm sort of going to town in here because I want these guys gone. Even on the succulents. Get some. Get some. You get some. You get some. Even you. Claren Clarinervium. I keep wanting to say that. It's not Clarinervium. It's Crystallinum. Jesus. 
I think that's kind of everything, guys. I might really go to town with giving it to the Splendid and the Gloriosum here too. I might have to just wipe it because this is in semi-hydro as well. So, yeah, oh wow. I might see if I can get you a shot. I wonder if you guys can see them running around on the leaf here. See these guys here? There you go. Look at them go. Oh! <laughs> come out, come out and play. Yeah, so there they go doing their job. Hunting. Hunting, hunting, hunting. So, good luck to you guys. But yeah, as you will have seen, there are absolutely loads of them on here running around going nuts. So they're all obviously at the top. Look at that, tons. And I probably squished a bunch by rubbing them on the leaves, but it's part of the course. I should mention my sort of standard mode of dealing with spider mites is to obviously treat the plants that you find them on immediately. So isolate and treat with some kind of insecticide. And then afterwards, I usually treat again in a week or two and I will check again and maybe even a third week if I'm really worried and it's a really important plant or it's going back into an area where I have really important plants. And then on top of that, I will usually purchase some predatory mites or some other, what would you say, insect, bug, animal to deal with it that you can release into the collection. So you can get things like nematodes, mites, there are all sorts of other bugs that you can purchase. Again, go check out Bugs for Bugs if you're in Australia, they're a great website. All right, so that was a bit of fun guys, a bit of uh, carnage, midnight carnage here at the moment. So I think I can almost hear those little screams as the slaughter commences and those spider mites get their throats ripped out. So <laughs> that was pretty graphic, sorry. But yeah, I am um, looking forward to having a spider mite free zone in my collection. Wish me luck and I will chat to you in the next video. I hope you enjoy these December videos. Let me know what you reckon. Check out this one. See you there.